This episode was absolute gold. I really enjoyed it. I really did. It was funny. Sarada centered and it was just adorable to see her. Like we see that she's got so much like pressure on her but it was adorable it was funny i love this episode but what's going on guys chu here bringing you another review on sarada let's call it that for today this wasn't about boruto it was about sarada and let me start off by saying i enjoyed this episode so much that i went back and i rewatched it i mean i'm being honest i really did enjoy it because though it may seem filler it was enjoyable to see sarada working towards you know something that she isn't very good at and how things played out because that was just hilarious how everything was playing out for her and i hate all the bashing that people make on sakura for those that think that she's useless you guys are ridiculous let's just put it like that you guys are absolutely ridiculous but in this episode we see them we're having the medical ninjutsu being the center of it all we were, they are wanting to have a, cl a class. And this was so important. Because honestly, back in Naruto, this was never something that was ever emphasized. Never stressed on. No one really ever made this a point to be. There was only but like a few people. And like now with this course, they're wanting one from each team to be able to practice this. And I thought that was great. That's a very great idea. And... In the beginning, we have Boruto and Mitsuki be like, nah, if you won't take it, I won't do it. And I'm like, I'm not good at it. And so it fell onto Sarada. And they thought that because, and here's where people thought the same of Boruto. You know, because you're the son of somebody or the daughter of somebody, you must obviously also be good. And so the thought was that because Sarada is the daughter of Sakura, that she was going to be technically good. And she's not. She was very stressed. She thought, overhearing a conversation between Inogen and uh, she, uh, Shigadai, they thought she thought she had to be perfect. She started studying overnight, and it just didn't pay off very well because she wasn't concentrating. Nothing that was happening was really working. And props to I I uh, Iwabe, even though we hadn't seen him in a long ass time, this dude actually had some had shown some sign that he's actually able to, you know practice this and i thought that was cool because he wants the muscle of his group i easily i think he's the muscle like he's the smart cool one even though he's older i think he's the muscle and now he's going to be able to do medical ninjutsu that would be so dope of him to be able to do both that like this dude it will probably be the full package in his team and so i, I was glad to see that he was also we also say inogen and this dude has multiple abilities so just adding on to all these trades, I think Inogen was a great selection for his team as well. So I like that that was happening. But for Sada, the poor thing, like she was just so struggling. She couldn't say that she was bad, but you know, she just kind of had to keep up that reputation. So she tried her best, and luck was in her side because she was able to get Iwabe's work and then Iwabe's work again, I believe. And then at the end, like. The tables were being flipped because Baruto decided to join in and want to watch. Him and Chikadai and Mitsuki are watching. And it's just more pressure. And then even more pressure comes on when Naruto and Shikamaru actually show up. And then Susan, uh, sh um, yeah, Susan shows up. And it's like all these eyes are just looking at her and trying to like make sure she's doing all that she can do. And it's just crazy. Like she has so much pressure on her. And when they have her do like the final demonstration, it was crazy because we see that she's trying her best, all eyes on her, and she's trying to make the, the, fish, the fish twitch and make it move. Unfortunately, it does not work. She actually ends up frying the fish and everyone realizes, uh, you may not be that good after all, huh? But she ends up coming clean, which is great. I really like that she was like, being honest. She's like, I'm not great. And everyone's backing her up. They were like, look, you don't have to be perfect. Naruto started mentioning that he has more weaknesses than he has strengths. Baruto was roasting the hell out of his own father. This dude doesn't lose an opportunity to do that. Sakura was very understanding about it, too. So it's like, I really enjoyed that. She had so much pressure. She thought she had to be something because of formalities, I guess you could say. But after being told by everybody that it was okay to be the way that she is and just, you know, working towards a goal, 
then you know that, that that made it better for her and i thought that was just perfect that was just absolutely great and i love that ep like that part of the episode and like we also get to see everyone working together like to kind of understanding you know jin show i was you know willing to show sada the, some of the stuff and you know it was just overall great and then towards the end sakura was just giving a demonstration of her abilities so she is the head of department so I mean, I have nothing but respect for, like, med especially now. Medical people are important. And that's just the damn truth. But, guys, I hope you guys are safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And as always, though, I will catch you later. Tú y yo bellaqueando con la luna y Vamos pa' mi cuarto y perdemos ahí Lo que hay es luna y El pato y los porcos que yo tengo